Question for a change 650 centimeters into meters. Whenever you are converting uh, between units of measure, the first thing to do is establish what the link is between them. So there are 100 centimeters in a meter. Then, how I like to describe it is, when you are converting, establish whether or not the wordy bit, the units, whether or not a centimeter, sorry, a meter is bigger than a centimeter or a centimeter is bigger than a meter. So here, the units are getting bigger. Meters are a bigger thing than centimeters. Now, when you do conversions, because of the fact that 650 centimeters is going to equal the certain amount in meters, if the units get bigger, the number must get smaller in order to compensate. Otherwise, they wouldn't be the same size. If you made them both bigger, then they wouldn't be equal to each other. So if you, the wordy bit, the unit gets bigger, the number gets smaller and vice versa. So 650, we're going to divide by this 100 and that's going to give us 6.5. So 6.5 is a smaller number than 650, but meters is a bigger thing than centimeters. They're equal. Part B, change 8 liters into milliliters. Again, similar situation, establish a link between liters and milliliters. So one liter is a thousand milliliters. We are changing liters into milliliters, so the units are getting smaller because a milliliter is a smaller measure than a liter. If the units get smaller, the number must get bigger. So this 8 has to get multiplied by our conversion. 8 times 1,000 will give us 8,000. That's how many milliliters are in 8 liters. Mamona has a 6 kilogram sack of rice and some empty bags. She fills each bag with 475 grams of rice, so each bag with 475 grams of rice from the sack. How many bags can Mamona completely fill with rice? So we take our six kilograms, first of all, and we're gonna convert that into grams because we're talking about 475 grams for each bag. So if we wanna be able to use these, compare these measurements, we're gonna to need to have them with the same units. So kilograms into grams, there's a thousand grams in a kilogram. The wordy bit, the units get smaller because grams are smaller than kilograms, which means the number has to get bigger. And I should have just mentioned here, there's a thousand grams in a kilogram. So 6,000 grams, we divide that by the amount that each bag can hold, which is 475. If we do that, our calculator then gives us the answer 12.63, so on and so forth. So the question itself asks, how many bags can Mamona completely fill with rice? So this answer here tells us that we've got 12.63 and change bags, which means our final answer is actually 12 bags. That's the amount of full bags that we can completely fill with rice. Done.